Hey everybody, I'm Jay. Welcome to what it's like. A little bit different today. So I've been getting a lot of questions in the comment section. Do I own any classic vehicles? So I'm gonna show you what I have. This is mine right here. I have this 53, I'm sorry, 52 Chevy one ton truck that I drive on the regular. I have upgraded the tires to a single piece radial tire i'm not i still don't like it it rides extremely rough it rides so rough that the bulkhead i hit one of them um, they have thresholds here in pennsylvania i hit one of those and it snapped off it actually came back and hit the top of it it scared the crap out of me so got the truck which we're going to go drive in a minute i have the i have a prius and I have a Honda Odyssey van. I actually had two Honda Odyssey vans, but my wife told me I wasn't allowed to get another car until I got rid of that van, so it's gone. Before going down the road, it's always a good idea that if you have a classic vehicle, to always check the oil every so often. So to get underneath this hood, the hood releases right inside here, and that releases it. It uh, has two others. My truck isn't stock, it's got a V8 in it, 350. The last year they made 350s with carburetors. Oil dipsticks right here, and I've already pulled it out and stuck it back in. So we are good, we're in the middle. We should be fine to just take it up the road real quick. I love how there's like steps getting up inside this. I've already done a full review on this truck. Um, very first episode, but we're probably gonna cover it again in all honesty. I know the speedometer broke. I need to get that fixed, but this is what over the hood looks like. And here's what first person looks like. And because this is my truck, I can push the clutch in, which you don't have to, but it's always a good, it, you know, because this thing will start in gear. Like, if you don't push the clutch in here, I'll put it in second gear. See, we're moving. <laughs> it will start in gear. So that's why they always tell you to put your foot on the clutch. You don't have to, but it's always good practice. This is essentially a four speed, but first gear is creating gear. It's possible to start your stick shift vehicle if it's stalled and or maybe you're having battery trouble and you're out. We're not gonna push start this. I'm just going to coast it. I'm gonna shut it off and then I'm going to kick start it and explain how to do that. it in neutral and I shut it off so it's it's off right now so in order to kick start it you just got to be coasting turn the key to the on position select a gear for the speed that you're going and then just release your foot off the clutch like that and the transmission will start it. It's really that simple. You can't really do it with an automatic transmission. There are a couple automatic transmissions from the 50s that you can do it with, and I can't explain how it works because it's they're, they're weird, they're weird transmissions. I think you could do it with a fluid drive because it has a clutch. In the comment section below, what automatic transmissions can you 
kickstart. It's very interesting. 